Hello friends, welcome to Tony's Reviews. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hey, today we're checking out the American Real Lawn Mower today. There's no motor, no gasoline. You push this thing and it chops. And we're gonna check it out right now. This is a real lawn mower, 14 inch, made by the American Lawn Mower Company. Uh, it is a real lawn mower. There is no motor on this thing. Never thought in a million years I'd be buying one of these, but a guy I work with bought one and I've got to use it a couple of times, his, which is the same exact model. I think it's this exact one. And it works so good that I thought I gotta get one of these myself. Paid about $89 for this on Amazon. There will be an Amazon link in the description of this video and also one of the comments if you wanna check one of these out after the review. And I'm holding the box because I wanted to show you how light this thing is. So even in the box, this entire lawnmower is pretty easy for me to pick up. Let's take a look at it. Okay, out of the box here, we've got a couple of posts here. I think these are basically the, uh, <laughs> the arms or the push part of the lawnmower, right? And we've got an instruction guide here with some more parts. Okay, I want to be careful here. I don't want this thing swinging around and cutting me or anything, so I don't know how sharp this thing is. But anyway, here's the lawnmower itself. This looks solid here. I'm going to pick it up by this American par part where it says American. Set it down. So not very many parts at all. I'm not even sure what level this thing's set at, but I'm gonna test it out here on the yard at the level it comes at. So let's see what happens. This thing cooks pretty good, but even the smallest little sticks get this thing hung up. So I've, I've hit a couple of tiny little rocks out here, a couple of little bitty twigs, and this thing gets hung up on little twigs and sticks. But without the twigs and sticks, it moves pretty good. Probably about as easy as a regular old lawnmower that's not self-propelled. What I bought it for though was inside this fence. This is where my dogs are at. They fertilize this area like crazy. And anyway, I'm gonna hit it with this and we'll see how it does here. 
don't get a whole lot of sticks or rocks in here so hopefully it'll go over this thing like a charm one good thing is this thing is light enough that i can actually pick it up and set it over the top of the fence just lower it over the fence all right ignore the hay this is out here for the big basset hound she likes to lay in the hay over here in the corner push rocks up at you you know if you're if you're pulling this thing in or pushing this thing in so i'd say this is to me this seems like the easiest way to do it without having that thing spin on you this seems like the easiest way to do it to keep that blade from spinning on you all right you saw the before of course i haven't weed eaten or anything but this is the after so this is what the yard looks like after mowing it with this it chops that grass up really good and it gets it down pretty good. I think it's like perfect length right now. Uh, it does leave some sparse places, uh, but I probably should have to go over this twice because the grass, I did cut it Sunday, which was just two days ago, but uh, this grass has been growing pretty quick because all the rain we've had. But anyway, this is the after. It does it pretty hard. That 14 inch blade, you know, obviously, you know, it ain't super wide, but uh, you know, I got a little workout doing this. My friend that's got one of these, he mows on a really flat surface and it seemed a lot easier to use for me at his place on a really flat surface. But also, I wasn't doing the entire yard either. I was just pushing it kind of at my own leisure and it seemed pretty easy. It's a little harder than I thought, but not as hard as some of the older ones that I think I tried to use in the past. Like our neighbor had one, like a big old rickety one. He mowed his entire yard with it and it was really hard. So this was actually fairly easy. And it would probably be good if you don't have a lot of rocks and a lot of stems and stuff like that to pick up. All right, I'm gonna clean it off with my Milwaukee blower here. Hey, and if you want to check out this little Milwaukee blower, I've got a review of this on my channel. These aren't very much. These are around $100. I will have a product link in the description of this video also. I had always thought in the past that the bit small wheels on the back activated this thing. And actually, it's the big wheels on the front are connected. And they act activate that. And when you're going really fast, it seems almost like there's a motor in there. I know there isn't, but it seems like there is. Something I wanted to add is I did not change my shoes, which I should have before I started mowing. And I noticed that this cut of grass does not make your shoes as green as like regular old mowing. So I can mow with a regular lawnmower and my shoes would be ruined. I mowed with this thing and my shoes didn't get hardly green at all. As a matter of fact, I'll let you look at one of them. I don't even know if you can see the green on it, but 
see here little green around the front there of course the bottom's got green on it but and as far as i can tell i didn't get any on my jeans so that's a plus i think that what i have to do is get a uh, sharpening kit uh, i know that they sell sharpening kits on amazon i'll probably get one of those a friend of mine that's got this did buy the sharpening kit or bought a sharpening kit with this and uh, i think i'm going to do that so anyway folks I love this little lawnmower. Does a great job for that little patch out there. I don't have to buy gas anymore. Like I said, the only thing I really got to worry about now, I think, is sharpening this or maintaining it. I think you're supposed to keep this greased up with WD-40. So, key points I want you to know about this lawnmower. This lawnmower is easy to use, or easier than I thought it would be to use. Uh, got to use both hands, push on it, uh, and it will cut real nice uh, as long as your ground is somewhat level. It doesn't have to be super level, but as long as it's somewhat level, this will do a pretty good job. And uh, you want to keep the grass kind of low. If it rains, if it rains a lot, I'll probably do it twice a week. If it doesn't rain that much, probably once a week. Uh, but it really chomps for that grass. I will tell you this: if you have any sticks in your yard or any big rocks or anything, get them up because this will get hung up on sticks and rocks pretty easy. Uh, that's probably a good thing because if your finger got caught in this thing, it would probably stop it, but I'm not saying it will stop it. So be very careful. Those blades can get you, you know, when that thing's spinning. Above all, I want to say I love this little American Real lawnmower, and I think you will too if you buy one of these. There will be an Amazon link in the description of this video and also one in the comments. If you have any questions about this little lawnmower, please throw them down in the comments. If you, know, if you know anybody that might need one of these, please share this video out. If you like this video today, please hit the thumbs up. I want to thank you so much for tuning into Tony's Reviews today, and God bless you.